Well, it seems the three guys that I refer to as the steel team have finished up. I haven't seen them around lately. So, <laughs> payroll's a bit reduced, frankly. Um, I got a bunch of things I'd order from uh, Shopee. So there's uh, more of that black poly tube. Um, I want to add about 40 metres on the roof there to uh, increase the, the heating of the water in the tank. But that's pretty effective so far. It's just that uh, it does cool when water from the top replenishes the water in that tank. Um, so I figure if we add more heat in there in the first place, it might be as much of an issue. But we may have to have a uh, combiner tap. It may, may just simply be that uh, we use the water from the top tank to uh, fill the, the tubs we use in there for ladle out. Because currently what happens is they get filled with the cold water from the tap and then uh, water gets heated on the gas and added into that tub to bring it up to temperature. Um, but if we can dump water directly in from that tank into the tub and if it's too hot that's okay we add cold water from the other tap get it to the right temperature and reduce the use of gas. Uh, yeah, so I figure we could add about 40 metres of, of uh, black tube up there with the elbows I've got for inserting of that. But then um, I'd also like to use some of the garden bed over there with uh, drippers for uh, watering your plants. I've ordered uh, three two hour timer taps so we've put those on those three taps over there and they won't just be left on indefinitely uh, but we could use some black poly tube and drippers and just say right oh click 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 okay let that run for half an hour and water the garden so we've got uh, two garden beds there that we can do like that but we can also uh, then use extra tube and feed it across to the north there from that north garden bed to uh, go past various other trees and plants and then of course um, if we're using too much water from the tank for that uh, if we extend that tube far enough across we can hook it up so that uh, it can be driven from that as well which means putting a non-return valve in the feed to that line from the tanks so more non-return valves, check valves purchased. It just goes on and on. Um, <laughs> and then uh, we have here bricks and cement and sand and it's all for prettying this up. I gather the guys are going to use this for washing their vehicles. Uh, and of course it requires a submersible pump which is currently Here. You can't see it because of the contrast. But um, I go around here so it's not back quite so much. Yeah, well I can see that. Yeah, there it is. So that's the submersible pump. Uh, yeah. Lots of rope, lots of power cable, but yeah. That probably goes down 40 metres now using the uh, perforated ball casing they put down and leaving the non perforated stuff out. Oh, well, we'll see what happens there. I have, I have my PTZ cameras in place at either end of the building there now but neither of those two actually work at the moment the um, the POE uh, switch and the far corner inside um, near my computer that uh, just has a flashing power light for either of those which says too much current or short circuit and they don't work uh, I 
did conduct an experiment where we used an extension lead and a 12 volt power supply and connected that camera there directly in using the power supply and ethernet cable directly without using the PoE splitter and it worked fine. So I'm hoping they've got two dud PoE splitters. Uh, we'll uh, replace those two. I got more in order and see what that does. If that doesn't fix it, I've got other ideas, things I can do, but they're less than optimal. I want this to work. I now have the 12 uh, fixed cameras that my DVR can handle connected in. So top two at the right there and the ones that are right hand side there, they're the IP cameras over at the shed or looking at the shed. And the others are all uh, coaxial connected ca cameras, original ones that came with the DVR. So that's pretty good. So there's 12 cameras there. There's a, a PTZ camera on the southeast corner of the house and then will be those two PTZ cameras on the shed. So that particular program that can manage them all. I might look at my uh, NAS as well because that's got a surveillance program on it which would allow me to record those. But um, yeah, fairly good camera coverage. I've been talking about it for a while, but uh, it's time to go and have a look at the toll road. A fair bit of activity in the distance. We continue walking off the road. Uh, looking into the distance now, we can still see a fair bit of activity. Quite a few machines on the length of uh, a bit of road we can see. But can't see far enough down that way to see where the pile drive is going on. So that's looking towards the uh, southwest. So we'll go and stand up on this uh, raised bit here, which obviously. There's been a lot of material brought in to raise it up like that. I'm surprised there's worrying about this vehicle. She's been worrying about it for a long time. I'll cross back to her side so she doesn't panic. That guy in the uh, white top, the security guy who uh, had a chat with us back down in this park. Appear to be digging something fairly deep over there. It's next to the big pile of rock, so I don't know. Meanwhile, out the back, the guys are progressing this uh, extra concreted area. I kind of think that tree and that tree might get transplanted. But yeah, they'll uh, make a bit of a hard pad here for uh, around this bore. This is a progress a few hours later. I'll report again when more has happened. That's a couple of hours of progress. So the next morning and the work continues and Jabida and I are just about to go off on a, a walk down to the other direction that where we approach the uh, toll road. So here we are down at the other side. So way back up there is uh, the machines that were uh, videoed yesterday. Somebody just had a tire blow. Tire, yeah. Yeah, they make a big noise when they go. <laughs> he won't be happy. That'll be hard to jack up with a load of rock on. Well, some way down that way. Must be where the, uh, where the 
piles are being driven. There's a river crossing down there somewhere. But, uh, got a big flat area there. I think I might just cross over this bit and have a look. This is more like what I expected from a, uh, a toll road. Big flat wide surface. So, uh, they got this bit done. A little bit here, but they got a lot to do up there yet. I don't think November is going to see this completed. And these pipes here, they look more like they might be... Uh, yeah, I don't think they're um, drainage because they're too thick for that. They might be piles for a uh, bridge here. Because there's a little bit road here get to the other side over here it's going to need a bridge of some kind but yeah progress is being made possibly because of toll road construction this road's in much better condition than it has been in the past they've used this as an access road so they've laid down a lot of uh, rock on it but yeah it's not the uh, string of big puddles that it was last time I walked down here well, Javida and I have come back from our stroll down to the toll road in the southerly direction. Um, I've got a car finding app on my phone so that you can park in a car park and mark your location and then find your way back to it later. And uh, I actually used that to tell me how far it is to the toll road. And it's not as far as I thought. Um, yesterday, the bit of toll road we went to was about 500 metres east of the house and the bit we went to today is about 430 metres south of the house so yeah it's closer than I thought but uh, yeah so there you go and I neglected to mention that even at this time of the morning it's uh, 29 degrees and um, what have we got 82 percent humidity so I came back pretty damn sweaty from a short walk like that. Uh, time to rehydrate. That's the next day and this thing has been built. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe it's going to be a uh, water receptacle. I don't know. And I'm not too flash today. We had a little bit of rain. In my previous video I was rabbiting on about POE cameras. Uh, I didn't explain that acronym in the video, although I gave quite a detailed explanation in the description, which most people probably don't read. POE stands for Power Over Ethernet. So what happens is these four ports here, they actually uh, put out 48 volts as well as the ethernet signal on the ethernet cable. And at the far end you need a splitter which takes the ethernet cable from here and puts it out as an ethernet cable and a power cable for the camera. So that's power over ethernet. And I knew I had more of these around but couldn't think where they were and now I've found them. Um, so I may be able to try these on the, the ones over at the shed that aren't working, the cameras that aren't working. In addition to PoE, there's EOP, Ethernet over power, which is a completely different thing. That's where you have a module that plugs into a power point, which has also got an RJ45 socket on it for the Ethernet. And you have two or more of those on the same electrical circuit, and it lets you do Ethernet communications over your house wiring. It actually works quite well. But you're not supposed to use power boards or extension cords or or double adapters degrades the signal but uh, I don't actually have that in use here I have used it in the past it was quite good sure sounds like that pile drive is getting close yeah well <clears throat> I'm thinking that what they built here is uh, a tub for water perhaps so I'll pump it out of the uh, bore and fill that up. 
And being salty water, I don't know how that will work for mosquitoes. Mosquitoes mightn't like it. Here's our garden be being done finally. Body. This is good. But yeah, I think it must be uh, where these we're looking at those um, concrete pipes, they must be piles that are being driven now. So it's only about 430 metres away. Well, it's starting to get stinking hot out. So the guys have called a brush break on this, I think. And um, I'm waiting for more supplies to turn up from Shoppy to do irrigation stuff. Uh, yeah, I think we've got enough of video for an upload, it's being Friday and all. Uh, I'll edit this down and uh, do an upload.